Hey, this is Katie Frenzy with more tips to help you sell more online. Now this week it's coming up on the holidays here, so we're going to talk about turning returns into revenue. Important all year long, however, during the holiday season, it's expected that one third, I tried my best to get this to look like a third, but it doesn't, um, one third of the amount of products are going to be expected to be returned this holiday season. Sounds like a lot, but you should know that it's expected 95% of shoppers, if they have a positive return experience, will come back and purchase again. So that's revenue for you, so big motivator. Plus, if they have a great experience, they're gonna be advocating on your behalf, which is free marketing, so you definitely want that. If they have a poor experience, not gonna go so well for you as well, so definitely a huge motivator too. So as far as the returns process and kind of things you can do to optimize this, first step is gonna to be to listen. Now, by listening, I actually mean letting your customer talk, whether it's via email, over the phone, let them divulge all the information so that you then can ask your questions. As far as asking clarifying questions, make sure you have a list that's, of course, tailored to your particular product or service, but ask them the stuff that is outstanding from what they've already said. So for instance, do they need help with assembly? Maybe they just need batteries. What went wrong? So you have a very, very good picture about what you can do then to remedy the situation. From there, having all the information, you can make some really great suggestions that'll benefit you as well as the customer too. So it's kind of a win-win here. So first one, exchange. Do they just actually need a different size, color, or product? Or perhaps you can do a partial discount. So customer gets the thing that they need, you still get to keep some revenue. Definitely a good tactic there. Now, another win-win is gonna be the upsell. And I don't mean upsell in the traditional sense of adding an accessory or something like that. You can try it. But I'm talking about gift cards, store discounts. This is something I loved when I was in business and I know a lot of our clients love as well. They get to keep the product. You're actually getting more money out of this particular client. They still feel great, which is good. But they're gonna come back with a gift card or store discount to purchase again later. I love it. Now last, of course there will be returns and that's okay, no worries, but try your best to remedy that situation. Make it a positive experience for your customer so they advocate and maybe come back. And again, encourage them to come back. You might wanna try store discount, coupon, something of that nature to encourage that repeat purchase. So thank you so much. Hopefully you do really well this holiday season and all year too, but turning returns into revenue. Tune in next week for more tips to help you sell more online. Thanks.